Tonight, we do know more about the Cincinnati police officer facing possible discipline for a Facebook post. We first told you yesterday about this post that stated white officers were, quote, looking for a reason to kill a black man, unquote. Nine on your side, Julie O'Neill joins us now live from police headquarters. Julie? Well, my police sources tell me this has been all the talk among Cincinnati officers. Meantime, some perspective tonight from the officer in question who spoke to a Cincinnati attorney today. This as this story of the Facebook post starts to make national news. Knowing him as long as I've known him 10 plus years, he speaks from the heart. Attorney Carl Lewis says he wants everyone to know the intent of the Cincinnati officer whose comments are now getting national attention. The Facebook message posted just after the police involved shootings in Louisiana and Minnesota states to his Afro American friends when you encounter a white officer, make sure that you are in a public place and comply to all of their commands because they are looking for a reason to kill a black man. But the way it was worded, it could be taken as he's talking about all white officers. You know him personally and don't believe that was his intention. Don't believe that's it. I know for a fact, having spoken to him, that's not his intention. Is not making a blanket statement. Is not suggesting that anyone and everyone is out to kill African Americans. What he's saying is that there are some very, very bad individuals that wear badges, just like that. They're very bad individuals that practice law. They're very bad individuals that practice medicine. And beware, be cognizant of things that are around you, and take steps to protect yourself and also follow the orders of police officers. Cincinnati police policy gives officers freedom to express on social media to the degree that their speech does not impair working relationships, impair discipline and harmony, or negatively affect the public perception. It also warns speech on or off duty involving their professional duties is not protected speech under the First Amendment, and officers can face discipline. As the department considers any consequences over the post, Lewis says it should look at the whole picture. As Abraham Lincoln said, words are our tools. You have to be careful with the words you use, but until you get a clear understanding of what he meant and what he said, don't draw a conclusion. Lewis says this officer has been phenomenal in his community relations, and his police jacket would bear that out with several commendations. He also has been reprimanded for failure to follow policies and procedures. There have been some issues there. But interestingly, a year or so ago, he settled a lawsuit that involved issues with white supervisors and possible discrimination. I do not know the details of that lawsuit, just that it was settled. At this point, we're waiting for Cincinnati police and its leadership to decide whether there should and will be any consequences for this Facebook post. We'll stay on top of it live at police headquarters. I'm Julie O'Neill, Lot 9 on your side.